everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This time on Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we need to infiltrate Mercer's house, just like it says right there. Let's bring up the map, and we're going to want to go local. Where in the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, pretty close by. Good. Where the hell are you, dude? There you are. All right. Can I shoot through this thing? I don't know. Nope, that didn't work. All right. Okay, we'll just pick the gate. Lock. Oh, wow, we're really close. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so from the center position, we'll go over just a bit. Oh, no. That didn't work. All right, we'll have to go over that way. There we go, we got it. All right. Kill him. Someone there? Got him. One more. There we go, he's dead. Alright, nobody saw a thing. We're looking good. Yes, alright. So, go ahead and search him. Uh, we can take the key. Yeah, we'll take the key, why not? Um, search that, okay. Rift Wield Manor. And also, up there, there is a mechanism. I don't remember what I actually need to shoot. That wasn't it. There we go. That got it. Take those tomatoes. Okay. We'll get down. We can open the door, no problem. Hey, there's a lady. Alright, he must be down around this corner here. There he is. Gotcha! Yeah, come on over! Dead! There we go. So, if he was going to have anything talking about where he had gone... Well, if he was really smart, he never would have written it down. But of course he did. That totally happened. Um, there is likely to be... A cabinet, that's not it, with a false back on it. There it is, suspicious cabinet, false back. Yep. Very nice. Here we go. Anybody in here? Okay, pressure plates. I have the light stepping perk. Which means I can walk across them without any trouble. And... Whoa! I triggered nothing. That just started happening. Alright, here's what we do. We do a quick save, and then we come in here. There we go. Nothing can hit us in here, as far as I know. All right, and then uh, all right, we'll wait. We'll wait. Let's just wait for it. Okay, that thing goes in, and we. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Run! 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 I got caught on something. I I'm not sure what happened. And then finally, it looks like this is Mercer Frey's place. Oh God! Damn it! I got hit with arrows, poison darts, whatever. The Yeah, it was trapped and I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we've got a chest. Lots of books to read. Oh, investigate the ruins of... Reading, um... The Ethereum Wars gave me that quest. Okay, actually that's a really good quest. If it's the quest I'm thinking of, it's a really fun quest and is awesome. All right, what else do we have in here? There's um, Mercer's plans. We'll take those. Okay, and a skill up book right there. Sneak increased to 57, very good. Very learn. hey, look at that. Let's, oh, jeez, okay. Well, we're not starting off in the middle this time. We're not that lucky. Oh, okay. Down a little, okay, not down a little more. Let's try right about there. Oh. Crap, alright, right there. No! Alright, other way, other way. Other way, no problem, we can do this. How's that? Oh, we're so close. Just, like, a tiny bit. Yes! There it is. We got it! And we get Chillrend! Pretty, pretty good sword. Not that I'll be using it, but a pretty good sword nonetheless. Also, kinds of jewels and crap in there that I don't care about. Hey, uh, let's get the hell out of here somehow. And here we are back at the cistern. Let's go talk to Brynjolf. Let We've him know what's going on. And I've spoken to every contact we have left. 
No sign of Mercer. Hmm. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus's pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. That son of a bitch. Then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly. We have no time to lose. Okay. Until next we meet, lad. Not now, lad. Carlia said it was important. I wasn't trying to talk to you. Get your ass over here. I'm waiting for you, you son of a bitch. Let's go. Oh. Not now, Carlia said No, it stop it. Initiate! Brynjolf. Thank you! ...has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lass, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill me. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale. An agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate, is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Man, recording dialogue in the cistern is a freaking nightmare, by the way, because of all the background noise. I don't even know how well people can hear that. Thankfully, there are subtitles. I should probably see if I can lower the background noise down in the options menu. That's probably a good idea. Anyway, um, we have a new a new task. Uh, meet Carlia at the Standing Stone. Okay, very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. There we go, and the Standing Stone is just right outside of Riften. Okay, we have made it to the Standing Stone. Looks like Brynjolf and Carlia are already here. That is good. I'm glad you're here. Alright, uh, what's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. Hmm. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Okay. Uh, what kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's go. This this, one, just oh oh hey look at that. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. Brynjolf, I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. This is enough to make Sweet. your head spin, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so now we get Nightingale armor, which is the coolest looking armor, as far as I'm concerned. You just activate that stone, boom, your inventory gets flooded with armor. And it is good stuff. Now, we have to equip all of it right now to continue the quest, but we won't use all of it in the future. Um, why am I having such a hard time finding it? There we go. Okay, uh, Nightingale armor increases your stamina by 20 points, increases frost resistance by 15. Versus what I currently have equipped on the chest, which is carrying capacity increased by 20 points. I would actually rather have that, um, yeah, that stamina boost. So we'll definitely keep that on. Where is Muffle to move silently? Yes, uh, Nightingale Gloves. Lock picking is 15% easier. One-headed attacks do 15% more damage. And finally, the hood, which is the best part, no doubt. Um... Illusion spells cost 12% less to cast. Not helpful at all. I will switch back to my... 
Thieves Guild Hood, prices are 10% better. Well, maybe. Actually, that, that doesn't matter either. What's the armor rating? This one has a higher armor rating, so I'll actually keep that on as well. Also, I still have my party boots and party clothes. I do not want those. Let's take a look at ourselves. Yeah, it's... It's pretty awesome. Look at how the eyes just glow. Just, 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 just a glint. Just a speck. It's pretty awesome. I, I really, really you like this armor. Alright, you guys go ahead. Get your sweet ass armor. We'll get this thing started. There we go. Looking good. Looking good, everybody. Let's move on. Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Yeah, now what? This gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale, and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I'm tired of waiting for you slow assholes. Can't pull... Oh, I gotta wait for her to come over and pull the chain up. God. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Yes, I, I, I'm sure we will. Please. I think we should trust go. the lass and take oh, oh, the deal. Ugh. Let's just go. We'll yes. This Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. I am on the pedestal. I don't know why I crouched. Alright, let's do this thing. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal. Queen of Merc and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you. As both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Well, he's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Mm. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Okay, so the key unlocks any well, door, huh? Yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Well, then it sounds like no one should possess it. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. 
If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Alright, first time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf oh. has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Oh, yeah. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Hmm? The leadership of the guild. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I actually have to talk to him. Listen, lad. There's one last oh, piece of you business just said that, we need dude. to settle before we go after Mercer. All right, why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived uh -oh. here. <laughs> Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's uh, treachery yeah. has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the, the guild to its full doing? strength. As a result, we <laughs> both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer <sighs> as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Yeah, uh, this is something I really hate about this game, is like every time you complete a quest line with a guild or, or whatever, you, you always end up becoming their leader, and it's really stupid. Like, do you have to give the player everything, every single position of power? And I, 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 I don't know. Um, I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've yeah, stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I'm going to refuse. He's like, no, I've I can't do it. Never been one it. to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. All don't right, so it. basically, just accept well, it. You we don't have to do anything. To run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. Decided. I accept. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Yep, let's get to I've it. I've been over the plans you brought us. And I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just hate how you can become the Until leader of everything. Um, it's, it's like if you're playing a really bad, like, Skyrim or Oblivion mod, and they give you a bunch of really great loot and some random chests that you really don't deserve. Alright, so what's next? Uh, we need to get to Inkenthand. Ink. No, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to try. Alright, it looks like we are approaching the doorway. We'll have to infiltrate from. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet where we will infiltrate from. Stand up. Come on. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I think this is roughly where we want to be in order to descend. Yep, there we go. All right. All right. Who can we kill? Who needs to die first? There's somebody right there. Man, you guys are fucking strong. Like, too strong. That got him. Maybe you should put a shirt on. It's very cold out here. Might pay off my bounty this time. Walk into the city of free man. You aren't paying off shit. Go. Oh, good. It clipped into the, the floor again. I don't know why I'm surprised that happens anymore. Oh, here he comes. Got him right in the face. Anybody home? No. Okay. Oh, wow. I did not see him at all. Wow. Oh, it's a bandit chief. That sucks. Where are you? Oh, this is going to get messy. That was really weird, too. He didn't see me, but I didn't do sneak attack damage. I don't know. That was odd. All right. Anybody else coming on down, or... No? Alright. Yeah, an orcus shield of dwindling frost and a long bow that I don't care about. I could grab the shield for disenchanting, but it's probably really heavy, and I don't want to deal with that right now. Okay, there's a lady down there. Take her out as soon as we go back to being hidden. No 
no sign of him. Huh? <sighs> really? Again with that shit? I can't fucking believe how much that happens. Forget it. Forget it. I don't even give a fuck anymore. That's so irritating. It takes you out of the game. It really does. Let's get in here. Alright, so Carlia and Brynjolf should be somewhere nearby. Well, clearly they've been through here. Did they clean this chest out? Oh, it's an expert lock. Let's pick it real quick. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, come on. Uh, right there. Oh, so close. Let's go back just a touch. Yes! Nailed it! Alright, anything good? Uh, gauntlets of Major Alchemy. We'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, iron Ingot, don't want it. Potion of Stamina, Scroll Blizzard. Nah, nah, nah. I guess I could take those. I might be able to disenchant those. In fact, I'm almost certain I can't. Hey! Next time on Let's Play Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we go find Carlia and Brynjolf, wherever the hell they are, and um, probably murder Mercer Frey, which should be a lot of fun. See you back here then. Luke out.